looking at the fully evoed Sergio Gomez. He has got five star skills, four star weak foot, high medium. He can play left back or CDM or left wing back. Looks like a really crazy left back or even CDM. So he has a 99 agility, 98 balance, 92 composure. Really good passing in terms of short pass and long pass. Great acceleration, sprint speed. Yes, you could argue the defending would be higher if it wasn't for the headering accuracy. But in terms of play styles, we've got incisive, we've got jockey, we've got block plus, we've got flair, press proven, and we've got relentless. Now, we went for a shadow on him, and that's basically to maximize that pace and to maximize that defending. Now, if we jump over to foot bin, you can see here, gives him 95 pace, 91 defending, and makes him into a 90 CDM, or a 92 left back, a 92 right back, and a 93 left wing back. And overall, looks like a ridiculously good card. At five foot seven hundred and seventy-one centimeters, is my only concern with him playing as a left back, especially with the whip ball meta and much more how people play and etc. Could be an issue, but we'll have to see. Now we are going to be playing this in elite division rivals. Unfortunately, I don't have any weekend league games left, and we don't have any of the uh, playoffs to do. So it will be in that. And we're just going to see how Sergio does for us. We will play him as a left back, and if I find that there isn't much footage to get of him there, we will then move him into CDM and see how he does as like a box-to-box -box midfielder. But let's go ahead and get into the game and see how Sergio Gomez does for us today. If you need help in FC24, I've got the best solution. Head over to skycoach.gg where you can get boost in weekend league rivals. You can buy FC coins as well as get yourself 10% off on all orders when you use code. Nanic. Link will be in the description down below. There is nothing stopping you and go ahead and get those boosts you need. Here is our opponent's team. It's a very, very strong team. A good little run out for Sergio Gomez. Now, I've already played a few games with this card, as you can imagine, Evo in him up. And the first things I noticed about him is he is lightning quick on the left stick dribble. And he's really, really good with the passing, with the four-star weak foot as well. Now, of course, the skill moves have just been updated. We didn't have them earlier. So I'm interested to see how that does for us. But he's going to be down his left-hand side for us today in this game, and then we'll drop him into midfield in the second game. It's an absolutely crazy pass. Good block there from Maya Kanji. Good save. So we're already getting battered already. It's a good start here. I thought the ball went out, but apparently it didn't. Right, let's get... Right, Gomez on the ball here. You can see here, not actually that small, but he is against that Afinha, who is very small. Bit of skill to get past. Now, he's very, very quick on the acceleration, which I like, and then we get him in the ball here. Ball roll through. Oh, nearly. Does win the ball back, though. Open up space. Shot. And a good save. You can see, though, how quick he is on those animations. Wasn't expecting to win the ball there, but that's what happens when you push somebody up. Trying to keep that pressure on. Again, Gomez open at the bottom. We'll pass it to him. Little one-two. Oh, nearly Megs Alaba there. Been a bad mistake from our opponent. Can we capitalize on it? And a great finish there. One nil up in the game. So off we go at one nil. Oh, Sergio Gomez, lovely interception. Now we can drive forward. We're gonna push him forward because we've got the extra man. Looking for that cross. Oh, what a ball. And we should have had an assist there. Another thing that's rated about this card as well, or not yet people don't know, is his set pieces are absolutely ridiculous. See here, 80, 93, 90, and 87. So we are going to go ahead and whip this in to the penalty spot here. About three and a half bars of power. Oh, it's not the best cross in the world after all that. Bit of a uh, anticlimactic ending on that cross. Just trying to find the space. Gomez pushing. We do find him. Bit of skill trying to open up the space. The Elastico, lovely pass in to Harlan. He can't get the shot off. Now we need him to recover. Get back in that position. This is where he's meant to be. All right, Gomez again driving. Using that RB or R1 dribble to open up space. Finds Morientes. Green time and a wonder save again. Gomez has come short this time. Drag someone over, then we're going to whip this in. Kanji. Oh. Keeping that pressure on. Sergio Gomez. Not many options, but that's an absolute unbelievable cross. And we should have had another goal there. You can see, though, his ability to pass is right up there. Why? Sergio Gomez again with the space. We'll drag him out, drive him through. Play the ball in behind. The phantom glide. Bit of skill. Cut back, not quite there. A good tackle in the end. It's a shame. I've got to see his recovery speed. 
You see here, against the Sabios, keeping up, managed to shut him down with the other defender. Now Gomez can drive forward again for us. Ball Ross Goop. Morientes back to Gomez. Can he whip it? Of course he can. A really good cross again, but no one at that back post. Now we've got Gomez here on the recovery against the upgraded Dafinha. Tackles a Sabio, no problem. Gets a skill open, and he can play it out wide to the space there. This is someone you need in your team. I'm promising you right now, he's got to be upgraded. That's for sure. You've got to Evo this card. His first touches are relentless, and we almost get another assist again. Good skill to get past Afinia. Now we can drive. Modric road to the final. Oh, that's a good tackle. Keep that pressure on, No, Again, through ball. Surely we get the assist this time. We do off the post and in. One assist from him in there. Fantastic performance so far. Well, we've got one more attack if we're lucky. Let's go. Got the space. Got Gomez running up just behind as well. We find him. Gomez with a ball rose. Good. Finds his way through. Enough red time to shot because he took an extra touch. So far, you can see how attacking he can be in that left-back role. He's already made a couple interceptions, a couple tackles as well. We're going to drop him into that midfield role now and play him as a CDM or a more of a box-to-box -box midfielder to see how he gets on. So into the second half, we've dropped Gomez into the CDM slash box-to-box -box role. Bit more aggressive now with his attacks if he wasn't already. But not only that, you get to see how good he is in terms of situations under pressure. But you can just see here how quick he is on these skill moves. Because he's so small, with that really high agility and balance... You've just got so many options to be able to turn with him, uh, move around his passing. And not only that, he can finish as well, as you can see there, right on cue, green time. Fantastic goal from him. Two goals and one assist. And looks like a rage quit as well, as we just dropped him into that role. We will go jump into a second game to play him in that CDM role. But let's have a look at his statistics in game in terms of performances. You can kind of see what he's been doing for us. So yeah, he's got 10, one goal, one assist there. He had 24 dribbles out of 29 complete. Three shots on target, one goal. In terms of passing, 20 passes out of 26. And then defending, two out of three tackles, one. One interception. In terms of defensive duels, 100% one. So he's just really, really good. But let's go jump into that second game now. So here is our second team then with Sergio Gomez now playing in that box-to-box -box role for us. We're going to see how we get on with him in this role. You saw the left back, not much tackling in there, but still enough to show you. Now let's show you what he's like in the middle of the field. 1-0 down, not the best start there. Our opponent's got a lovely little goal there, cut back. Got a very good team, we're going to have to step up here. Now Gomez can move into the midfield. For some reason, when you make changes, you have to wait for the game to go in or basically the ball to go out of play. But you can see there he is now in that midfield role. Good dribble there, a little one-two between him and Haaland. Lovely chip through ball over. Haaland with a touch and there's the assist already out the gate. Why you need to put him in this team right now? Get him in your team. Lovely chip for Ubal from Sergio Gomez now. Now we're driving through with that left stick dribble. Oh, Van Dijk, uh, sorry, Brand there. Uh, Zidane even, sorry. Shuts us down. Right, straight in to Gomez's feet. Holds up the ball against Zidane. Now we've got the spin on him. Using that pace. Look how quick he is. Easy through ball into Morentes. Keepers come out. Ball roll round. Bit of skill. And now we are 2-1 up. Moving Gomez in. Two assists. But you can see the pace of him. He's so fast and so consistent with his passing. Right, let's go. Can't attack. Gomez on the ball. Gets past Stones. No problem. Drive it back in. Not many options here. You have to hold it up. Lovely dribble. And we've got Harling clean through, I believe. He is. And a lovely goal again. That's three assists in that midfield. You can see how quick he is on the RB or R1 dribble. And we've got ourselves another goal there. absolutely running that midfield for us at the moment. With that relentless plus as well, it just basically means he never runs out of stamina, which is what you want from a midfielder. All right, let's go. Counter-attack. Down the line. There's Gomez. Use that pace. Got Morentes running through. Can we play it to him? We can't. We play it to Harlan instead. Lovely little one-two. Oh, referee is a foul. Winners has a free kick there. Good dribbling from him again. Lovely touch. Gomez now controlling. He's got two runners. The player doesn't know what to do. And it's an unbelievably timed through ball. Crossover. And a great save. We should have had a goal there. That's a shame. Gomez has come short for us again, though. Going to use that right foot across. Nearly found Van Dyke. Great pass in. Gomez, lovely left stick dribble. Now we've got that pass to him. Can we return the favour? Of course we can. Heavy touch. Gets away from Kai Havertz. 
Trying to get away from Saliba as well. Using that left stick dribble, just open up space. Back to the right back. Reset. Great tackle and yeah, nowhere to go. Just want to kind of exercise his left stick dribble in there, but took a bit too long on our attack. Gomez. He's running. Can he get on the end of it? Bit of a mix up. Great tackle. Oh, nearly. And that's half time. So, so far, three assists for him in that midfield role. Bit hard to win the tackles because he's got a very big midfield, but it's still, he's dominating that midfield for us. He's doing exactly what we want. Now, this card can basically play anywhere you want. Left back, right back, CDM, cam, centre mid, left mid, right mid, and the forwards as well. Can't really play centre back, and that's only because of his height. And that's the only thing I have to say about this card in particular is his height and his strength. Is a little bit inconsistent, or sorry, inconsistent as to do with the times of when someone presses on him. He does lose the ball a little bit here and there. But once you get away from that, his left stick dribbling is so fast, he gets away from anybody else and creates a space. But let's go jump into the second half now. Gomez gets away from one tackle, gets away from another. To Bellingham. Back to Gomez. Lovely touch. But easy through ball down the line. Lacaqueta through two. Um, again, we don't capitalise on it. I can't believe we haven't got a goal with him. You can see how he opens up space, especially with the skill. Nowhere to go. And Gomez intercepts there. Saved us big time. Let's go out wide. Through ball down the line. Got Gomez peeling in the striker roll. I don't know why he's there, but we do find him. The red time, the shorts. He did a delay, but we do win that ball back. And we get ourselves a corner. I'll take that after the attack we just had. And that is the full time of the game. A fantastic performance from Gomez again. He got a handful of assists, ran that midfield. Let's go jump over to Footbin now, talk about chem styles and much more. So there is another thing you can do with this Gomez. You can go for the obvious thing and go for the academy defenders, but you can actually upgrade him as an attacker. So if you have a look here, you can get him to 90 rated and go for the attacker one. Gives him power header and acrobat. It doesn't give him four star weak foot though, that's the only thing I will say. But he does get four star skill, or five star skill moves and becomes a really, really good attacking option if you need him to be that. Giving him this good finishing in 83 and 88. So if you wanted to, you could put him into the attacking. But of course, we looked at the defending one, so we're going to talk about that one a little bit more. Five star, four star. Again, can still play that role. I would probably look at probably putting a finisher on if you want to be a little bit more clinical, as you saw after today's review. Not the most clinical card, but that is to be expected to someone that can play left back or CDM, etc. But with a shadow, this is the most versatile card I've ever played with. Because of his height and his balance here, 171 centimeters and 57 or 5 foot 7 altogether, with 99 agility and 98 balance, he is so quick on skill moves and elastic dribbling. His passing, as you can see here, at 82 and 89. Even though he's got really good play styles, like the incisive pass is massive for through balls, and then the short pass is just your normal A or X pass overall, he gets so many spaces open. Now, like I say, his finishing is a little bit inconsistent. Doesn't mean he can't do it, but it's just one of those things. His defending would be much, much higher if it wasn't for his header inaccuracy. They're my three biggest concerns for this card. One, his height of being so small at a left back. Two, his header inaccuracy. And three, just his ability on strength. Because he's got 71 strength, just means he's a little bit weak. But if you know those things, you know how to avoid those things, you really don't have to worry. But as always, if you have any questions about this card or any other card, comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.